everyone. Uh, my name is Jacob Vogel, and this is my second internship with the program. Um, and I'm going to be talking about the Gateway Grizzlies. So let's dive straight into it. So a little bit of background about the organization. So the Gateway Grizzlies is a professional baseball team um, that is in the Frontier League. Um, they were founded in 2001 and started playing their games in 2002. And so the stadium seats um, over 6,000 people um, with a variety of different seating options. You know, you can buy tickets to sit in the field box or a lawn or the bleachers and many other options. But you can also upgrade your tickets to have suite options, which includes our hot tub, our home plate buffet, picnic tables, open airs, and much and many other places within the ballpark that you can sit and enjoy a big, great baseball game. And so um, the Gateway Grizzlies also host extra events uh, while the Grizzlies are either on the road or when they are um, out of season. And we offer those up to high schools, colleges, different leagues, and many other groups that come to our organization and either have like practices or they have games or they have tournaments throughout the season. So my roles and responsibilities with the Gateway Grizzlies is that um, I'm an intern in their game operations department. And so my role consists of being a manager over seven to 14 people a night. So it's usually about three registers, three runners, and a cook each night. And so um, I'm just overlooking, seeing how I can help throughout there and start giving them roles, different roles throughout the game so that um, uh, we keep things consistent and things um, going well. Um, so I take inventory of all the products in the stadium and um, help make orders and help uh, get everything ready uh, for the next day or the next homestand, um, depending on what day it is. Um, so I also step in to help cook uh, for my stands um, a variety of different foods like hot dogs, um, popcorn, uh, pretzels, and many other options that we have at our uh, stand. Um, so um, I also help cook for different buffets. So we kind of talked about the beginning, the different suites that we have, whether that's home plate, picnic tables, uh, open airs, home or uh, hot, hot uh, tub suites. Um, each of those gets food if they, or if they come with that ticket. So um, I help make sure to get uh, different foods out to them throughout the game. Um, so, and I also set up for extra events, um, which involves moving bases, setting up fences and batting practice and a lot of other things uh, for these different extra events. And you can see over on the side, on the right, right hand on the top uh, picture, that's my concession stand that I run. Um, we also have two windows. Um, so. Uh, we can run um, a bunch of different registers a night. Um, and then on the bottom side is uh, the fence, a picture of a fence that, you know, we set up for these different events um, if they need them. So um, my goals for the internship was to get a deeper knowledge about game operations uh, from another organization. Um, so my first internship was with UMSO Athletics. So I got to see what um, game operations was like from their point of view. Um, and the, it was really cool that like I switched from the college athletic side to the pro side, be able to see what game operations looks like from the gateway business side. Um, so that was one of the goals I wanted to see. Um, my next one was to really strengthen my leadership skills. And um, that entails, um, you know, I knew when I came into this internship, I was going to be a manager over people. Um, and so I really wanted to work on, work on how to be that good leader and how to be somebody that uh, these workers can rely on and someone who they can trust and be able to get things done. And so um, I really wanted to strengthen my leadership skills here um, at this uh, internship. And the last one is I really wanted to learn about the business side of the game industry. So we do a lot of work on the outdoors, getting stuff ready for games and prepping for games. But I want to know, like, what is it like behind the scenes inside the office? What do they do to make these different deals, whether that's sponsorships, tickets, um, different things that we can do in order to 
um, learning about the business side. So that was something that I was able to learn um, while at the Gateway Grizzlies. Um, so what did I learn? Uh, I kind of mentioned some of the things that I just learned, but here's a little bit more about them. So I really learned what game operations really does entail. Um, you know, I learned about how much food and beverage is involved in game operations. Um, you know, you see in the picture here on the right that um, that is a, a war just one of my warmers um, that I have. And it's got all the different foods um, in here. Um, and this is how much we had to prep for just one game uh, one day in July uh, because it was a really busy night. And so this is what it looks like on a busy night. Um, and then I learned what it really is like to be in that leadership role. Um, you know, looking over people, giving them different tasks to do, um, being somebody who relies on this problem solving. Um, so there's a lot of different things I got to learn while being in that leadership role. Um, so my biggest takeaway from the internship um, that I would say from looking at it is, you know, be that person that really stands out amongst everyone else. Um, you know, helping out at the end of the game, um, making sure that everything gets done at the end of the night, help out um, getting stuff out of the stands every night. Um, you know, it, it's something that stands out to the bosses. And, you know, being active is just something um, that they look for in different interns. And so another part that I would say is learn more than just your position. Um, show initiative that you want to learn. So, you know, I might be in game operations, but it's it's going to look good if I want to learn not only this, but if I want to learn sponsorship or I want to learn stuff in the press box about how they do different productions and posts and, you know, marketing um, or ticketing. You know, there's different different avenues that you want to learn from um, and you know it just takes that initiative uh, like willing to learn and you know if they see that you're learning these different positions it just it's very um, very eye-opening to all the bosses so what personal growth have I personally had in the sports management career um, you know with being in all these different internships the hands-on experience is just great um, you know, I'm, I'm constantly learning new things every day. Um, you know, the connections that I've had, you know, uh, with all my internships, especially the Gateway Grizzlies, you know, all the connections has been great. Um, learning from different, um, different students from different schools is just great. It's, it's great to learn from other people's, um, it's, it's great to learn from other people and learn what they know and try to see how you can use it. Um, and it's also great to learn from all the uh, front office staff. They're so helpful and they know um, how to get you the information that you want to learn about. And so um, lastly, you know, I really can um, gotten better about my communication skills um, in, you know, in texts and emails and phone calls and in person, you know, my communication skills have definitely improved since being in there. Um, so I think it's great. Um, so what would I tell my younger self? Um, I would tell myself to keep pushing to getting those learning experiences that you want. Um, you know, keep asking for more learning opportunities. Um, it's definitely important. Um, you know, if there's something certain that you want to learn about, keep pushing to know it. Um, you know, it definitely shows, but you, you're there to learn. So make sure that you're, you're asking for those different opportunities. Um, another one is taking advantage of your time at the stadium um, to learning from the front office staff or from the interns. Even. And so um, for me, you know, um, I wanted to, uh, I think it'd be good so that like when I have extra events, um, you know, extra events usually happen later in the day. So like five, six o'clock at night, um, but it would be good to come in a couple hours early and come into the office and learn what they're learning, try to see what they're learning about and taking advantage of that time while you're at the stadium to learning from the front office staff. Um, if you know somebody's gonna be there the next day, maybe talk to them and say, hey, can I come in um, at like maybe two, one or two o'clock to be able to talk to you about, you know, next home stand, how, how you, um, 
how you uh, what you do for you know sponsorships or you know press box marketing, different options that you think would interest you. Um, so just take advantage of your time while you're there, um, and you know really let your ideas be heard. Um, you really push push for your ideas to be heard. So you know for example, you know there's been a couple of them that I've had. I, I wasn't able to push some of them, but there was one that I did push and it became a, a success. Um, so it was a deal that we had at the concession stand. So, you know, it's those different different ideas. Um, you know, they're willing to listen. Um, just got to come out with them and say it. Um, so just really push your ideas. That's what I tell my own myself. Um, so advice for incoming students, you know, Really take the opportunity to try to learn everything you can. You know, I've mentioned it a lot, you know, learning about sponsorship, learning about press box, learning about marketing. Learn all the different avenues is very important. And it's very, you know, it can be very important to your career. You know, you might learn about something and you might not even know about it, but once you learn it, you might say, hey, I like that. So maybe that's something that I want to learn more about. Um, so you never know unless you try. And it's, it's those times at the stadium when it's your time to shine and learn about those. Um, I really say, like, step outside your comfort zone while you're there um, at your internships. Be open. Be willing to do anything. Um, try to be there as much as they want you to. It's going to show initiative, and it's going to show that you have passion. Um, and follow up with that. Have those extra conversation with your bosses. You know, if you want to learn about something or you want to learn about how you can be better, Ask them, see what they think. Um, you know, if, if you're asking how can I be a better um, intern or what can I do to help you out, it's going to show initiative. And if they tell you to work on something, work on it. Um, it's just the, the extra conversations that's going to really show. And so, lastly, you know, enjoy your time at the internship because you know the season's very long, but it goes by the blink of an eye. You know, I remember the season like it was May. And now it is August and it's flown by like no tomorrow. But it's been a great time at the internship. So um, really take it take advantage of the time at the internship. It's very, very important. Um, some advice for students and me, sports management. Um, be active on social media, uh, be active on LinkedIn, be active on any social media, to be honest. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, any of them. Be active. Learn about. Learn about, learn from social media, um, making posts, um, liking them. It's all that then is very important. Um, get as many experiences as possible. Um, you know, learn from, you know, you can go to a college atmosphere, learn from that, and then learn from the minors, learn from the pros, even learning from different sports. Um, take advantage of trying to learn from different, op different types of sports and different organizations. This is very important and they're all very different. So it's, every organization does something differently. Um, and kind of lastly, push for the information that you want to learn. You know, you're the student, you're there to learn, you're in, you're in college, ask for those, uh, ask for those um, what you want to learn. Make sure that it is known what you want to learn and make sure your bosses know that so that they can teach you those different things. Um, some advice about the courses. Um, you know, really learn the information in the class and see how it can apply to your internship. You know, if you haven't had an internship yet, think about it now and write it down and take notes and think about it and say, you know, how does this apply to not only college, but how does this apply to um, the minor leagues and pros? And how does this apply in these different organizations? You know, think about it. You don't have to know about it now, but when you're going into the class at least write it down think about it and when you go into your internship maybe ask questions see ask and see how does this apply to, uh, to the organization maybe they can answer and be helpful and then you know um, and then also be open-minded to all departments um, don't really stick yourself in just one department you know um, you want to have a wide variety of mixes so learn about ticketing um, learn about sponsorships, pro, uh, press box, marketing, game operation. There's a bunch of different things that you can learn about. And there's a lot of different opportunities. So, you know, when you're at your internship, be open-minded to new departments, be open-minded to trying new things. Um, 
will be well worth it. Um, so in conclusion, you know, I had a great time with the Gateway Grizzlies. Um, you know, I'm continuing my internship until their season ends in September. Um, so, you know, the Gateway Grizzlies has been a great place to be creative and be able to discover different avenues that you, I might have not known about. And so it was great to learn, um, you know, and if anybody has any questions, you know, connect with me on LinkedIn, um, message me with anything you have. And, you know, I hope this helps anyone um, in the program. And thank you for watching and hope to hear from you soon.